He brought us lots of laugh in the hit 90s show in Living Color, and he is still entertaining us all from stand-up comedy and acting and even musical accompl accomplishments. And you can catch his next comedy stand-up right here in the Bay Area tonight and Friday at Yoshi's in Oakland. But joining me now is TV star, comedian, entertainer, Tommy Davidson. Good. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you Glad for joining us. Glad to be us. here. Glad to have you. S no, no lie. I saw a talking dog in the back. He was talking to me, and he said, "Don't eat like mini uh, corn dogs." You don't eat the mini corn dogs. Yeah, they're being what did, recalled. What the dog mean? They're being recalled. No one said anything about the talking dog. Y you know, people were they're having talking hot about the, dogs. They're talking all about the mini the corn dogs. Yeah, the mini corn dogs. They were having those all weekend. I hope nobody was enjoying those. You know. <laughs> Yes, Glad but that to be was here. This, so, so happy to have uh -huh. you. That was this weekend, but tonight and Friday you were performing at yes. Yoshi's. Yes. Give me the details. How can people come join? Ah, just, just, just come on out. Just come on out. I'll be there. I'll be there uh, tonight and tomorrow. Okay, and it, it's very simple. I love coming up here. I've been coming up here for probably about 37 years, since I was uh, very, very, very young, and um, I just love this market. I just love this market. This goes from here all the way up past San Jose, all the way up. This is just, you know, it's the Bay Area. I like to be here. It's the Bay Area. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're happy to have you. Nice to be here. I'm one of your biggest fans from, I used to watch In Living Color back okay, okay, in the okay, day. Okay. You know, if I was um, all ready for the week, then uh -huh. my parents would allow us to stay up and watch it, and then it was time to go to bed right after that. But I do thoroughly enjoy the show. How <laughs> how much has it, has it um, how are you surprised by like people today still uh -huh. being so just big fans of the show in Living Color? Uh, yeah, because it was actually really funny. Yeah. You know, a lot of stuff that was on TV or is on TV, you go, oh, that's funny. You don't go, <laughs> you don't do that. That's when something's really funny. Yeah. You know, and that was our show. Yeah. You know, and I've just been um, having a good time over all the years just watching people grow with us. Yeah. You know, we did know what we were going to do. Because we all knew each other before we got the show. We're all comedians around Hollywood trying to make a name for ourselves. And we didn't know it was going to get that big, though. We knew we were going to be successful, but not like that. But by the second, by the second season, people were looking at me in the grocery store funny. I was like, maybe I think I'm famous, you know? Uh, but but it just was a unique show and a unique time. But it's still funny. Yeah. Because it's, it, it, we still push the, push the envelope. A lot of shows you know? um, mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. back in the day mm -hmm. are kind of doing a resurgence. Is there any chance that you guys can get back together and do a resurgence of that show? Is there, guys? I'm talking to y'all. Yes, we want to yeah, see they're, this. Yeah, they're, they're turning over in their mansions right now. Who do we need to? Uh, who do we need to reach out to? We, you got to. You got to call Jim Carrey. Email. You got to. You got to. You got to tweet Jamie. Well, you might want to wait on that one. Um, 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 let me see. Uh, David Allen Greer. You got to. You got to get the uh, the Wayans. And so, J Lo back dancing. J Lo. J Lo. I don't. Maybe her head won't fit in the door. But, 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 what? 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 I didn't say something else. Um, 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 <laughs> uh, but call them. All right. All right. Call you em. heard it here. We, I, I think that people would really enjoy to see that. So many yeah, shows are all yeah, coming back. So you guys, yeah. you guys will, will have us all in yeah, stitches once again. Yeah, we will, again. man. And, and then with, with the Proud Family. The Proud Family going on, well, 20 years ago was on the air. 20 years now, later, it's back. So I got this new generation of, 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 of women now who grew up on the Proud family and in Living Color. Yeah. You know, so I, I think I'm getting, getting up there in a little bit of age because, you know, every time I, somebody comes up to me, they go, you know, as a little girl, you know, when, 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 when in Living Color, I was like, well, you're not no more. <laughs> you know, time is gone. You know what I mean? Are you talking to me? Are you talking I didn't say to that. Are you hey, directly hey, to me? Hey. Let's you know. talk about the Proud family. You're also a dad. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you take um, those, being a dad in real life and, and those experiences into the show? It's the same thing. Uh, I, I uh, raised two different generations of girls, though. Mm -hmm. See, the, my older girls are uh, uh, 34, 30, okay? Um, and the younger ones are 16 and 2. Wow. So, you know, the, the, the youngest one can go, that's daddy's show and the other one I don't care because I'm just like you better finish that homework or something 16 is a hard age and and that's about the age that Penny is sort of around there mm -hmm. so I'm still the same dad you know what I mean get in your room now I don't want to hear it nobody get a snack be quiet you know so it's the same thing 
you know. Does anything surprise you about a two-year-old now versus, I don't, I feel like things that maybe you experienced uh, a while ago, you know, with the first children, right, you right. probably weren't even remembering what was happening. Oh, it's like man. you were so tired, yeah. there was just a lot going on. So now yeah. you're probably able, I mean, I'm guessing, you're probably able to be a little bit more um, just methodical about it all and your present yeah. and your parenting. Yeah. And so what about a two-year-old now surprises I could, you? I could draw a tear, really. I'm just really having a good time really being there during this we were all in the, we were all in a different period of time you know back then i was i was like we live in an apartment and you know it was it was it was the struggle of getting where i am now um the most precious thing i have now is time so i have time with her mm -hmm. you know i have actual time to to play with her toys and to you know to go to merry-go-round and we you know we hang out in the mall and you know it's i really do have that time and you know, during their adult life, my other kids, you know, you know, I compensate that by being around all the time, but it's a different type. It's a different type of time, but we all have different relationships and it's all about love. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love, I can really see the emotion coming through yeah, talking yeah, about your children, yeah. so I love that. Yeah. Well, speaking of having a good time, mm -hmm. you also were putting out new music mm -hmm. that I was kind of surprised to learn that you have some jazz songs. I do. So how do you have this jazz background? It came from back, it was before, it was before comedy. I sang before comedy. I got into comedy just by my friend telling me, um, so what, you got a job at the Ramada Inn, you should be doing comedy in Hollywood. And he, he, he bothered me so much, he finally got me to do it, and it took me one year I was out there. But I wanted to be a singer uh -huh. as a kid. So at four years old, I was on the table with a spoon and tinfoil around and singing for all my mother's uh, friends. I want every talent show up till I was about 12. It really was what I wanted to do. And when comedy came along, it took a back seat. Mm -hmm. So it's been... 30-something years since I've been in comedy. Wow. And finally, I get to get to my music. But I will tell you, that had to do with a lot of faith and a lot of patience. Because I know people want to jump out there and do what they want to do, and, 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 it's, and you can. But the way you pave that road is to go a step at a time and really believe that it, it's going to happen, but don't forget to do the work. And it happened. And here I am. I'm one of the top smooth jazz artists in the smooth jazz business. And smooth jazz isn't all I do, but it's a, it's a, it's a great start. I'm working with some amazing producers that I grew up uh, knowing their albums and knowing their music. It's, you know, I think my greatest accomplishment to date is um, I'm Barbara Davidson's youngest son, Tommy. And I finally realized that, that that's all I really have to be. And she, she raised me to be this way. I was left in the trash when I was an infant. She found me randomly, raised me with her family, had no idea I was black. Until we moved to Washington, D.C., had no idea they were white. And it was a, 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 it was a tough revelation for me. But us as a family, we grew through that. And she, she, she just wanted me to have a human experience, be able to love others, help people, and be happy. And that's all she wanted. And... Um, she got it. She got it. Mm -hmm. You're making her very proud, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. You're so multifaceted. You have so much from the acting uh -huh. and the movies and the TV and the music. And it's just been a delight to talk to you today. Hey, it, 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 it happens fast. Like, all of a sudden, I can be a uh, president Obama. <laughs> and I can, I can do it really quick. I can look at you and I can go, wow, what am I doing in the Bay Area? Anyway, go ahead. You're having a show. So let's <laughs> give everyone really quickly again, when can they catch you? Oh, you can catch me tonight. At Yoshi's and, and Friday night at Yoshi's. So come through. I'm here. You're going to be providing lots of laughs for everyone. Thank lots you so laugh. much. Lots of laughs. Lots of laughs. Thank you.